Hi, I am Jamie Schmidt, and this is my final video for EDUC 526. I chose APU because I was told it was a highly accredited university with staff that created a great learning environment, as well as having a solid Christian background. In 2008, I enrolled in the Accelerated Bachelor's Program for Human Development. During this time, I met many people of the APU family in which I am still in contact with today. My experience in this program has been a positive one. After graduating with my bachelor's in 2010, I decided to keep pushing forward and enroll in APU's multiple subject credential program. I started here and completed modules one and two. I took a short break from the credential program and enrolled in the digital teaching and learning master's program in 2013. Throughout the digital teaching and learning program, I gained so much knowledge such as how to implement tools and programs into the classroom to teach multiple subject matter. In EDUC 511, I learned about cyber safety, the technology learning resources, and how to use them, and how to use Wordle to help create an EdTech statement. In EDUC 512, I learned how to use Weebly to create a lesson plan online that students can access. In Weebly, I created a Google survey for students, created links, posted a rubric, and posted a teacher page where students could access the intro, standards, and resources for the lesson. In EDUC 514, I learned how to use different lighting when taking pictures such as natural, key, fill, back, hard, and soft lights. I also learned about many apps I can use in the classroom such as iMovie, Edmodo, Paper 53, Storyboards, Quizlet, EduCreations, and MindMeister. In EDUC 515, I learned about how to use social media to help in the classroom. We discussed Twitter on multiple occasions. I attended an unconference virtually through Twitter where they discussed many different resources in the classroom and different learning strategies. In EDUC 515, I also created a WordPress to post what I learned about the conference I attended. In EDUC 522, I learned about multiple intelligences and how to teach to all of them. Here I created a three-week three -week unit on math. I created a final video presentation discussing what would be taught, the objectives, Common Core State Standards, Technology Standards, and Technologies and Materials that would be used in the lesson. In EDUC 526, we used our three-week unit plan from the prior class and added goals and student learning outcomes, materials used and how it would benefit each multiple intelligence, teacher preparations, learning environments, and differentiation. I also created an action research project as well as a growth assessment in VITA. During the beginning of this program, I was an instructional aide in a moderate to severe autism program. A little over halfway through the school year in 2015, the teacher abruptly left. We had numerous subs come and go, so I took the learning of the students into my own hands and integrated what I had learned in this program into my small group teaching. In the summer of 2015, I was hired as an intern teacher for Barstow Unified School District teaching first grade. I then re-enrolled into the multiple subjects credential program where I am now finishing modules three and four. I also enrolled into the final capstone class to complete my master's degree. Finishing both of these programs at the same time has been a difficult task for me. It has been tough, but I'm lucky to say that instructors at the APU have helped me push through. My action research study report was on sleep. The main question was, what can be done to help me get a better night's sleep? When I first started this research, my sleeping habits, sleeping habits were horrible. I didn't go to bed when I was tired, and I did all of the things that they say not to do when laying in bed. For three weeks, I tried to do what sleep researchers recommended, such as avoid bright screens within one to two hours of bedtime, don't watch TV before bed, and make sure that the room is dark. I used my Fitbit and Fitbit app to track my sleeping patterns, which told me how long I was asleep, how many times I woke up or was restless, as well as how long each of these occurred. I also journaled the food I ate during that time period to see if that had anything to do with how I slept or lacked thereof. I also journaled what I did the night before bed to see how it might have impacted my sleep. After following my three-week plan, the results were not what I expected. I had hoped that with cutting down late-night TV, games on my phone, and even alcohol intake before bed, that I would sleep better. Unfortunately, the study showed that I only slept more than seven hours on weekends. I came to the conclusion that with the amount of stress from being a first-year teacher and going to school full-time played a major role in my lack of sleep. 
Sunday night through Thursday night as I was not able to turn my brain off. However, I do feel that this study has served as a starter on what I need to be doing before bed to get a better night's sleep. My curricular unit was on math, adding and subtracting whole numbers using rounding. This unit is geared towards second grade students. I designed this unit to teach students to use different combinations of coins and bills to solve different math problems. Students will add and subtract by using estimations to find totals. Students will also use rounding to add and subtract. They will be able to perform this lesson with the use of many different technological tools to assist them in their learning on a daily basis. Some of the standards addressed in this unit are Common Core State Standards 2.nbt.a.1.a, which is how 100 can be thought of as a bundle of tens called 100, as well as Standard 2.nbt.b.5 to fluently add and subtract within 100 using strategies based on place value, properties of operation, and or the relationship between addition and subtraction. One technology standard used in this lesson is the IST standard 4A, which is critical thinking, problem solving, and decision making. Students will use critical thinking skills to plan and conduct research, manage projects, solve problems, and make informed decisions appropriately using digital tools and resources. Students will be able to identify and define authentic problems and significant questions for investigations. In using this standard, students will have to research a local grocery store ad online and determine what they can purchase with a given amount of money using estimation without going over a specific total. Students will then do a flipped activity where they conduct the same research at home online, then come to class prepared the next day to share their research and tell students in a small group what they could make their family for dinner with a given expense. In their small group activity, students will show their local grocery store ad on their iPad. They will show how they navigated to find the ad, how they used the app notes to keep their list and estimations. Some of the technology tools students will be using are the iPads, websites such as Google, and the Apple app called Notes. After our three-week lesson, students will be assessed individually on their own grocery list they created using estimations and rounding, as well as a written math assessment showing their skills of adding and subtracting whole numbers using rounding. Students will be given a copy of the rubric so they have an idea on how I will be grading them on their formal grocery assessment. During this unit, students will be able to recall and recognize coins and bills and the numerical value they represent. They will also be able to apply what they know about money and use it to estimate and apply it to real life scenarios. Students will learn all vocabulary associated to coins and bills as well. This journey I have taken to complete my master's degree has been rough. With the support of the APU instructors and staff, as well as my family, I was able to successfully complete the program. I am proud to say that I am the first member of my family to complete a master's degree.